Activity yesterday. I threw caution to the wind and I used my vector and everything was okay. So we're going to do the same thing today. And uh, see what happens. Hope everybody's doing well. Bingo is still going crazy over on the um, shaving cadre. And the Rudolph uh, gift exchange is going very, very well as we get closer and closer to the Christmas time. Funny, one of the traditions that started on another forum and then kind of came over to this forum was the fact that during the Christmas time, especially during the gift exchange that my gifts, whether they were coming to me or going somewhere else, would uh, travel all over the country and the world and the galaxy before they got to their recipient. Well, this year, everything went smooth. My gift got to my Rudolph buddy real easy and uh, my Rudolph buddy's gift got to me. So I'm thinking, wow, this is great. So today's shave, was supposed to be something completely different. I had uh, purchased a razor from uh, the estate of Ed. Um, everybody knows him as Somnos, he had passed away. And it was gonna be a tribute shave to him because it's a razor that I've wanted for a long time, I just couldn't find. And this one was even more special. And then also a brush that Eric Sorrentino was doing for me and it was the first one that wasn't going to be named after a godfather character in fact this one based on the initial pictures i saw would was probably be the most beautiful brush in my uh, <clears throat> in my inventory um, i called it the pillars of creation and if you've ever seen that picture from the hubble telescope that's what it looks like so all that was supposed to be according to lovely usps that was supposed to be in yesterday well, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock came yesterday and went, and both packages were not. And my informed delivery showed me where the packages were. And the one from Canada I expected to be later. What with things the way they are right now. However, um, it is still stuck in Elk Grove, Illinois saying that lovely statement we love to see um, in transit to the next destination. So I figured, okay, it'll be here tomorrow or the next day. But now it's saying delivery date unknown, typical to USPS. Although I will say they've gotten much better than they were, but we're back to the same old hijinks. But then again, it is the Christmas season. And the other package from... Eric still apparently is at a distribution center in Detroit. And again, it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, according to them. And now it's delivery unknown as well. So hopefully by next week, when I do my videos, I will have those to showcase, but who knows? So, it never changes. You know, just when you think that you've gotten your package delivery set and ready to go, as they say, once you think you're out, they pull you back in. So we'll see. And I'm hoping that these come in good shape because one of them is one of a kind. Well, actually, they're both one of a kind. And they have a lot of meaning. Because the brush Eric and I have been working on for a long time. And the razor, obviously, was from the collection of Ed, and it'll have a special place. All right, first pass with the Blackland Vector with a brand new Feather Pro Guard, and so far, so good. 
Don't forget to check up here uh, at a certain point. You'll see um, Major Rich and Nurse Dave's channels. Make sure that you check them out. Uh, they provide a lot of video content and very good video content. In fact, most of mine are either shaving or maybe a few scotch and cigar related videos. Dave's now even gotten into the coffee videos. So make sure you check them out right here. You'll see the information come up. Just click on it and uh, it'll take you to their channel. Give you a little bit of information on them as well. Uh, also, uh, check out uh, by doing a search, uh, check out uh, Bill M. And there's quite a few Bill M's on YouTube, so make sure you search him out. And then any of the folks that are doing videos from the TSC, uh, check them out for great, great content. And of course, as always, don't forget to check us out at the TSC, and that's www.theshavingcadre.com. Lots of great stuff going on all the time, uh, not just shaving, a little bit of everything. Well, so far so good. The vector is doing well, so at least I have some options. Besides just the DE, now I can use my SE. I don't know if I'm quite at the point now where I'll challenge my doctor's orders and go for the straight razor, but we shall see. And also, if you like the content that you're seeing on my channel, uh, right down here, you'll see a barber pole with a cowboy hat on it. Uh, just click on that to subscribe and then ring the bell and you'll be notified when uh, when new videos come out. Usually, which is well, once or twice a week. And please comment on the videos. We appreciate your comments, good and bad. Um, if they're bad, we'll address it if there's something you don't like. If it's just negative, we'll ignore it. Um, and if it's good, we'll try to respond as quickly as we can. Somebody yesterday or the day before had commented about a video I did using the same product that I'm using today, which is Floris number 89. And that in Skyfall, apparently during that shaving scene, it was Floris 89 that was used. I think a little bit of that, I mean, it could have been, um, but there was no branding and you really couldn't tell what the soap was. But legend has it, that Floris 89, or I should say Floris number 89, was the soap of James Bond 007. Well, that's a yes and a no. Um, there was two soaps that apparently, shaving-wise, he liked. One was Eucharist, and the other was Floris number 89. But the true backstory is that Ian Fleming, the creator of James Bond, was the Floris 89 fan. And he used it regularly and used uh, Floris products. And in the books, he did mention that James Bond used Floris 89. However, uh, there's really no proof of that in the movies that I've seen. Uh, if anybody's got any other information on that, please uh, please put that, put that in there. Because uh, that's kind of one of those, I think, those urban myths. And I think since Ian Fleming was kind of uh, James Bond uh, as far as the creator and as far as what he did in his life prior to being a playwright or a movie producer and writer, um, that may be it. So 
Okay, so the brush we used today, since we did mostly a British shade, um, was the Morris and Forndran Apollina uh, with a, I think a super badger in this, a Lisa Beanie knot. Wonderful, wonderful badger brush. But again, as much as I love the badger brushes, I'm starting to find that the synthetic brushes are calling me more because they, they're just easier to lather. They're quick, easy, fast. So might be a paradigm shift here. Uh, Parasso Alum. A little bit of a sting, not much. Um, but if you haven't tried Parasso Alum, pretty good. And since we're doing kind of a florist shave and the number 89 is a kind of a warm, warm, excuse me, warm lavender, uh, nutmeg, uh, some deep tonka bean and stuff like that, uh, we're going ahead and use, let me see, which Thayer's are we going to use today? We will use the Thayer's Lavender. Again, Thayer's, Nurse Dave, Major Rich, we're using your stuff, we're promoting your stuff, show us some love. How is that for a cheap promotion? And for those of you, because uh, Dave and I joke back and forth about the Thayer's Lavender, and I know there's a lot of people that don't like that really strong, pungent lavender. This is not it. Very light, uh, just nice. And for the so for the razor today, of course, we use the Blackland Vector with a brand new um, Feather Pro Guard. Uh, we use the Floris Number no. 89 soap and the nondescript. Thing. And then for the aftershave, we'll be using, again, Floris 89. And this is a really, it's a great summer, but it's also a great uh, winter scent. It does have citrus, but it also has notes of nutmeg and uh, lavender and some uh, sandalwood. So it's really warm, uh, but at the same time, it can be worn in, you know, uh, better climates. Uh, for the talc today, we're just going to be using our Menon Shave Talc. Not much. Today is my day off, but I have, yes, another plethora of doctor's appointments. And I'm going to get my hair cut. And then I'm going to come home and do nothing. Well, not nothing, but... And then for the EDT, as soon as I remember where I put it... There it is. Again, Floris, number 89. Good stuff, very good silage, uh, long-lasting and matches the uh, aftershave perfectly. And the small uh, atomizer is perfect. It's very pinpointed. You can get things exactly where you want them. And like I do with EDTs, go big or go home. All right, folks, that's it for today. I certainly appreciate it. And thanks again for all the support with all the medical things I've got going on right now. Things are getting better. And uh, come join us again at Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. And again, don't forget to check us out at www.theshavingcadre.com. We'll see you next week. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.